Uh, good morning everyone okay today I'm going to show you how to how to open your website uh, from a local host in your in your local machine that is your PC or your laptop so let's say you've already uh, made your website and now you want to launch it at least to see how it works on the client side on your local PC before you publish it or you host it in a, uh, the known host such as WordPress or Stinger and or any other so at least you will be able to test your website and check whether it's working properly as per the way you thought it should be working so since I will be using I'll be using in this case I'll be using XAMPP a ZAMP because ZAMP is capable of running PHP. Okay, this website uh, it's first coded in uh, in uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, and uh, MSQL and PHP. So, in a local machine, I think uh, ZAMP. It provides a good server to run PHP PHP coded so go to your machine search ZAMP I can search ZAMP ZAMP control panel okay, that's ZAMP so before you that let's say I run local host local host to run local host it's not open because you will not run ZAMP so and ZAMP make sure you start there Apache Apache is ready MSQL because this uh, website has a database so let's now now you can see so you can go to PHP my admin Let's go to PHP my admin. As you can see, I mean my PHP my admin, you can see all my database. Look at this. You have icon store. We have some store, ecom, MSQL, Shopee. So let me run one website using the Shopee and uh, courtesy for the daily tuition. Now, this code I downloaded from daily tuition codes on the uh, e-commerce website. So I'll just run it. So to run that, simply go to localhost. So before you run, the website make sure you store your files usually ZAMP provide a folder for storing your files to run because every time you run you run the website uh, ZAMP always search the documents in, a, in, a, in their store in this case let's say let's go to local DC go to ZAMP HT Docs so make sure you store your documents in the HT Docs for it to be run so in this case I have 01 e-commerce websites e-commerce websites e-commerce websites blah 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 local project 
we let me stop so let me run let me run this or this just go there let's see local host local host slash e-commerce well, let me just stop this Let's see what's coming. Yeah, boom. Yeah, the website is already running. So this is a this is a trial e-commerce website. You can see it's responsive. I can check the items. It's on the shopping cart. Can add coupon can continue shopping uh, can sign in and see can sign in I can register I can see all this yeah my account wish list guest can register everything is running okay can I click on the logo to come back to home yeah so that's how we run our website so when you check this VS code so I use VS code as my editor pan in this uh, However, I, I prefer PHP admin for uh, for scripting. Let me say for scripting uh, PHP codes, but for other codes, I use uh, VS VS Code. Okay, this is the file for the website. Let's see, check out. The database is ecom store payment it has all the php so later i'll show you how to change your html folder html files to php so that you can be able to run them in some okay thank you welcome to my youtube channel if this video was useful kindly subscribe subscribe for more videos thank you